So today we got something different on the channel. I partnered with Enreal to show off their brand new Enreal AR glasses. These are the Enreal Airs. And these are very interesting because these are not your typical virtual or AR headsets that you're used to seeing. Like when I think of virtual reality, I think of like clunky big headsets that sit on your head and after like an hour, you just wanna take them off because it feels uncomfortable. These literally look like regular sunglasses, even kind of sort of like knock off Ray-Bans, you know? Like if I was to sit outside in public right now and put these on, you probably wouldn't say anything. You wouldn't think I look like a maniac, right? I could totally get away sitting on a bench, just minding my own business, but really, I'm staring into two screens, right? And I'm looking and experiencing augmented reality. Now this retails for about $379 and what it gets you is a carrying case, three nose pads. So you have two here, one that is on the glasses right now. You have prescription lenses, a light shield. So if you don't want whatever you're looking at to augment with reality, you can place this over the glasses and then you'll get more of a virtual reality experience. You have a cleaning cloth, USB type C cable, and for an extra $59, if you wanna connect this to an iPhone or any device that uses lightning, you can pick up the Enreal adapter. Now, it's made out of plastic, but it feels very sturdy and secure. It's all black. You have these thick arms on either side so they can rest on your ears. It uses a rake system, so like you can move these arms up and down. Ideally, you want them to be in a certain position so that whatever you're looking at, you can see the entire screen. For me, the arms are all the way at the top, but for you, it might be on a different level. Now on the back of the arm, or bottom rather, you have a control knob that lets you increase and decrease the brightness, which by the way, goes up to 400 nits. That's pretty good. Like you're not gonna be staring at these glasses in bright sunlight, but if you're outdoors and it's like a cloudy day, you're gonna be able to see things perfectly. Now you also have built-in speakers. There's two of them. They don't get insanely loud, but they're loud enough that you can hear everything you're watching perfectly. Ideally, if you want the best experience, obviously wear headphones because you can really immerse yourself in the content you're watching. But if you forget them, these are totally adequate. On the back here, you have the USB Type-C port where you can connect the cable to, and then the other end of the Type-C port will connect into your Android phone or to the adapter, which will then go into your iPhone. Now, it's really hard to explain what it looks like because all the footage I'm showing you was recorded through the lens or it's a recorded, uh, instance of what I'm seeing uh, from the smartphone and it doesn't look exactly what it looks like in real life. The best way to describe it is imagine a massive theater screen in front of you. If you're using the AR space, you can go up to 201 inches, but if you're just mirroring your phone screen, you get up to 130 inches. So in both instances, you have this really massive display. I think my favorite is just being able to connect to my iPhone and just watch a movie with it. Lie back in bed, watch uh, some content and then go to sleep. But you can also play games on this, right? Regardless of whether it's just a mobile game on your phone or even just connecting it to an Xbox or PlayStation. In fact, the best little gaming setup is having these glasses in your pocket and then utilizing Xbox's uh, cloud gaming pass. So for example, I played a lot of Apex Legends connected to my uh, Samsung Galaxy Fold 4, you know? The only difference though is because it's a Fold 4, the aspect ratio is more of like a four by three rather than like a 1920 by 1080, but it'll kind of incorporate the display size of what other phone you're using. And it was really nice to have a big display to game on because if you've ever gamed on a mobile device, the screen is so small. Like if you see an enemy in the distance, you have to like really squint, especially in a game like Apex. But it was really cool to have this big screen in front of me and have perfect vision. Now, the one thing I noticed about connecting it to the Z Fold 4, and I'm not trying to make this video about a Galaxy device, was that as soon as I connected it, DeX popped up. And I thought that was really powerful because DeX is a piece of software that essentially turns your smartphone into a desktop computer. So instead of having to like look for a monitor or a screen to connect your phone to, I could connect it to these glasses and get a much bigger display. Now, regardless of whether you connect it to your iPhone or Android device, specifically Android device, I did play Xbox Game Pass. It ran perfectly. There's no extra delay when you have the glasses connected. It's exactly like it would be on the smartphone. 
I didn't find any issues with audio or movement. Like when you connect your Bluetooth controller, it's not impacted by having the glasses connected as well. It runs and moves just as smooth as if the glasses didn't exist. But it was also really cool connecting it to computer, regardless of whether you have a Mac or Windows laptop, as long as it supports DisplayPort out via USB Type-C, it's gonna work. So for example, I connected to my MacBook Air 13 with M2 and it worked perfectly. It totally duplicate the display. And instead of staring at my 13 inch display, I had a 130 inch display in front of me. Fonts were bigger, text was bigger, everything was easier to read. I had a proper OLED display rather than let's say, you know, my IPS display on the MacBook Air and colors were a lot more deep and vivid than the standard display you'd look on a MacBook. It was just very nice to be able to like type notes or type a document and have bigger text. But if you don't want to just mirror your display, if you have an Android device, there's the Nebula app, which allows you to open up an AR space. And essentially what you get is a bigger desktop or a bigger space to look at, 201 inches and instead of just having a mirror display you have all these different windows in front of you so i can literally snap youtube on the left hand side and then in the middle i can have a browser open and then let's say on the right hand side i can be playing a game honestly it, these are really cool you know i'm excited for stuff like this because like it gets me excited to have a massive display inside of a pair of sunglasses i mean come on guys like these are sunglasses. You can fit these in your bag. And if you ever need like an extra display, it's always there. You don't have to carry a three pound external monitor or worry about being somewhere with a display to connect to. This literally needs no battery, but the power of your smartphone to give you a visual experience that's not in your normal everyday life. Honestly, these things are really cool. If you're interested in checking out the Enreal Airs, I'll place a link in the description down below. If you have any questions, let me know as well. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.